it's been a heavyweight weekend and the heavyweights battled it out at the Etihad to finish as a tool draw, which I think probably was the worthy score by the end. I think that was, I think mm. two all was, was fair. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you're going to completely invite pressure on for a whole 45 minutes against the best team in the, in the league, yeah. you're going to... I'm not disagreeing with you, Madge. I'm just listening to your opinion. I, you no, I, can, know, just, I, I can just smell like, you think there's <laughs> some kind of Spurs bias I feel on a it. little bit... No. I, feel, I do feel a little bit sorry for Arsenal. Because, I, I actually do. Yeah, because like to go 1-0 down at Man City and to come back like they did and the way they played was terrific. And the two goals, uh, although the first goal I have a problem with, Michael Oliver over, um, the Galafori hit from the edge of the box after the quick free kick. But the Gabriel set play was brilliant again. Block the keeper, oh, he's a beast, isn't come he? round the back. Beast. No one else was going to get in his way. Come over, everyone smashed it in the top corner, very much like he did against the Spurs last week. Yeah, he, he, uh, he's, he's a handful, well. wasn't he? Um, Trossard was on a yellow he kicked the ball away second yellow no but it was a foul before that like you know why didn't he give him the booking for the foul why didn't he make it easy on himself Michael Oliver why has he actually come off the pitch and put it on his little book oh because he kicked the ball away I actually think it, it's a proper foul by the way yeah. he, he charges into him Silva can't well, see him is, coming this is Ash who's a Newcastle fan says Arsenal fans whinging yet again players know the rules so there's no sympathy yeah, and they, you know, at some point, Arteta's got a City's team team down and say, look, let's stop kicking the ball away, guys, because that's two sending offs they've had. You know, at some point, you have to go, well, oof. Rice, wasn't it? What was the game Rice got sent off in? Oh, uh, against Brighton. Brighton. Yeah. You know, it was still a silly one. The two silly ones. It's cost them massive. Yeah, big time. Let's go over to James, uh, who's an Arsenal fan. Evening, James. How are we feeling? Evening, gents. Uh, well, feeling mixed bag, really. I mean, yeah. uh, I, I, I don't know about your comment about him fighting pressure 45 minutes when you're, when you're a man down against the best <laughs> Premier League team put together. No, but, but that's, that not, that's, not, that's what I'm saying. So for me, like, it was an even result because obviously losing oh, okay. the player, you're not going to be... A, you, it's hard enough to go to the Etihad with, Etihad with 11 men, let alone 10. So, oh, yeah, we would have taken a draw before. If anyone was like, you're going to take a draw away from the best Premier League team exactly. going. You're going to take it, and, we're gonna, and we would have taken it. Obviously, it's just sour because, obviously, as, as said, we were one nil down, came back two one, and then you know events happen, and then it's we're holding on. You know, if AJ was a, an Arsenal fan, he might have learned some defence. But <laughs> it, you know, it's, it's it's how it goes. I mean, I was a bit frustrated watching the game as well because party and everybody was sitting too far back on the line. Yeah, it's just like if you stand, if you just block that bit of space in front of the box. You would have, you know, closed. They down just the switched off more. at the corner as well, didn't they? You know, uh, right at the, the end, corner. and that, you know, yeah. when you're defending for so long, it's not so much your, your 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 kind of physical attributes that go; it's your mental attributes. And they just switched off on the corner, and then suddenly he's in the box. It goes in there, a couple of ricochets, and bang! It ends up in the back of the net. Such a shame for Arsenal fans, but probably, uh, as as Manch says, in light of everything that's gone on, uh, uh, two heavyweights at it, take the draw. It's, yeah. I mean, it's, it, I'm all worried about what the, the, the injury list is going to be tomorrow and none of uh, people coming off with uh, calves all tightened up and everything like that. I think we're going to have half a squad missing by the looks of it from, from yeah, my Yeah, and I see Matt, is it Man City play Tuesday? You guys play Wednesday, don't you? Is it Wednesday you play? Uh, in the I League Cup? Far, to be honest. Was, yeah. Yeah. You lost track, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, my head's not... I think, I think you've got Bolton on Wednesday. Yeah, Arsenal, I think it is, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a tough physical game. But one's yeah. a bit of a red card. But, but, but it was what, ironic, what, what, you know, what, what, like Rodri, who got injured for Man City, was talking about you know playing too many games. He's, you know, uh, and uh, unfortunately he's he's got he's he's come off injured today on an overstretch uh, set play, and um, you know yeah. that that argument and that 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 theory that all I think big players had. I had a lot of big players at my place saying get. Gaffer, we need a rest. You know, at some point, this this schedule is just too big, and that well, tu- the game uh, that they had Wednesday against Inter Milan was a real t- top level game. I was there for that one, and today again they put another top shift in. So Man City are going to lose players as well this week, as you say. It's 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 impact uh, of all these games that we're playing for sure. I know, but they've had time to get two, you know, two starting eleven worth of, you know, talent. Yeah, behind well, that yeah, 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 yeah. That's no, another no, story. I, but it is, I know, I get it. It's weird. But um, well, lads, what's what's the officiating now? I know it's, it's always going to be talked about. It's, it seems to be more and more as seasons go on and everything like that. But 
like I, I just make it make sense. I, uh, the, 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 look, I, I, I want to lay the groundwork on that. Arsenal players, I know, I don't know why they give the referee and, and VAR and everyone else and all that sort of thing any any decisions to be made in that. Don't give them the opportunity to to, to decide if you've broken a rule and all that sort of thing. But uh, for the second time of a second match, a player has been involved with touching the ball when they shouldn't have and all that. But another opposition player has done it during the game and doesn't get penalised for it. And I just, I, I, I don't make it make sense. <laughs> make it, I don't understand why that doesn't seem to be consistent on that part of it. Mm. You know, there's, there's, am I the only one that seems to be going mad with that? Or no, no, like, you won't. There'll be, there'll be ref watch. We'll have a bit of that going on <laughs> tonight as well. But when, when Doku kicked the ball away, was he only on a yellow card? I had no idea. No idea. When who kicked the ball away? Doku kicked the ball away, didn't he? Yeah. Like, he, when there was, uh, again, and this is yeah, what Arsenal fans are annoyed about because the same thing happened in, with the Brighton game. Listen, yeah, exactly. you know, you were going to get his consistencies, Madge. You, we know that, right, in these decisions. Some you get, some you don't, right? That's a tough call for Arsenal today. But in my opinion, he should get booked for the, for the foul anyway, right? But he kicks the ball away. It's a double whammy for me, for the referee. He made it easy for him. He sent, he, he gives him a second yellow and off he goes. But it was a tough game to manage. Incredibly difficult game to, to, to referee, in my opinion, Michael Oliver. I'm not going to give him criticism. I know, Madge, you're not a great fan of him. But I thought he did okay today. I wouldn't say it was a poor game from him. He made a few decisions I don't agree with, but that's referees full stop. Yeah, let's go over to Jack, who's a Man City fan. Evening, Jack. Evening, gents. You all right? Yeah, yeah Jack. Very well. Been entertained as a neutral in today's game. Definitely. Two heavyweights swinging it out in, in different ways. Yeah, I mean, I, I tell you what, I feel sorry for that Arsenal physio team this week because the amount of times those Arsenal players went down, they were <laughs> absolutely battered. I mean, they're at their hands up. They're absolutely done in this week. Was you in the stadium, Jack? Was you in the stadium? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I bet it was incredibly yeah. frustrating, wasn't it? Especially when you're there. Yeah. Mate, we've been 13 seconds in. We've watched Havertz go through Rodri. And I think from that minute on, we knew what the Arsenal game plan was. And obviously, you know, Rodri's had a little bit of a, a say on things last game of the season when we won the league. And he sort of said Arsenal came here to draw. He didn't say Arsenal, did he? He said teams come here to draw. And that's not the mentality to win leagues. And I, I, I kind of see then, obviously, the fact that he's the best player on the pitch for us. They've gone at him and it's worked. And obviously within a second later, literally, what, 30 seconds later, they've gone up the other end of the pitch. But, I mean, Michael Oliver, I don't know how he gets away with it week after week, refereeing Premier League games, when even the first goal, it's an unbelievable finish from the Arsenal left-back, I think it was. But yeah, California, He calls yeah. the two captains over to have a chat, fine. But he doesn't then give anyone a chance to get back into position, namely Carl yeah. Walker, who they just put the ball straight out to that side. He's cut in and shot and scored. Yeah. So... I, I actually, Jack, that he definitely is at fault for that, in my opinion. Massively. You can't call a player over and not let him get back into position. That is a cardinal sin of refereeing, in my opinion. So I don't defend him on that at all. But that was such a big moment of the game, so that he's, he's changed the outcome. Well, he has, because it's gone right down the other end, and obviously he smashed it as a great goal, by the way. What a finish that was. But, you know, the, the, the bottom line with referees is we can't, you know, constantly, constantly berate them. That I genuinely thought today it was a difficult game. He got a couple of things wrong, and that was certainly one of them. But I thought he refereed it okay. That's my yeah. opinion. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Lots of messages. It's having worse though, Madge. Is it when you're at the game? And the, and the other team's time wasted, and you're frustrated, and you just, you know, you're desperate for that goal. It's so, I mean, on a scale of one to ten, it's like a nine, and it? it's up there. Hundred percent worst worst refs in the history of football. Also, what happened to games not being stopped for injuries, but players having to leave the pitch? Yeah, that sort of and waiting to come back on. Bit, Has that yeah. been forgotten? That's from John, who's a Spurs fan, he said that game was ruined today due mm. to the refereeing situation. Like I mentioned before, the reason why I think of Michael Oliver is I think back to that Chelsea game Spurs played in last year. Where we ended up losing four, whatever it was, four one. Yeah. Um. And Michael Oliver had a huge say in that game. Red cards galore mm. early on, and just didn't and was allowing other things to happen. And I can understand the Arsenal um, fans' frustration. On AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.